Hey there, now that Webflow has started monitoring your monthly bandwidth usage, I wanted to share a couple of options you have for hosting videos for situations where if you want to have a background video in a hero section, for example, that way you wouldn't have to host your videos in Webflow and affect your bandwidth usage. So the first thing I want to do is break down how I have my project structured. So I have this section home hero and I've given it a position of relative. And inside that section, I've added a home dash hero underscore background image wrapper. It's set to position absolute, taking up the full height and width of that home hero section. And inside that background div, I've already gone ahead and added the embed element for our custom code. I gave it the class of video embed, gave it a width of 100%, height of 100%, and set that to position absolute full. So we'll take up the full height and width of our home hero background image. And in this video embed, I already went ahead and added the HTML video code that we will need. If you need this code, I went ahead and added this to a code pen project. So that will be linked in the description. If you want to go ahead and copy this for your projects, feel free. So the first example I want to cover is using Dropbox. So I'll go into Dropbox and I've already uploaded the video I want to use. And the first thing I want to point out is that this is an MP4 file. MP4s work the best with Dropbox. So if you have a MOV file, you want to make sure you convert that to an MP4 in order for this to work properly or a WebM, MP4 and WebM for Dropbox. So with this MP4 file already uploaded, I'm going to go ahead to this upper right hand corner and click on share. And then click where it says copy link. And I'll get this link to my video so I can copy this. And then I can go back into my Webflow project. And there are two places in this code that I want to paste this link. The first is this data dash video dash URLs. And I want to paste it inside these quotation marks. So I'll paste this, but there is one more modification we need to make to this link. You see where it says www.dropbox.com? We need to change the Dropbox part of this. So I'm gonna highlight Dropbox, and what we need it to say is dl.dropboxusercontent.com. So it needs to say www.dl.dropboxusercontent.com for the link to work. So I can go ahead and copy our newly modified link. And then I want to paste it to where it says source SRC for video MP4. So I'll paste it inside the SRC where it's the quotations are. And then if you had another WebM version uploaded to Dropbox, you would repeat that dl.dropboxusercontent step and paste that link in SRC for right here for WebM. It's not mandatory. It will still work without the WebM version. But if you also had a WebM version, you could paste that URL right here. So I'll save and close. And now I have my background video. But you noticed if I go in preview, there's a slight delay from when the video loads. What you could do to mitigate this is if we go back into our code, you see that there's this section right here called poster. If you had a video editor or a way of grabbing the first frame as an image of your video, you could upload that image to your Webflow project and go to your assets panel and select these three dots and then copy the link and then go back to your code editor and paste that link inside the quotations for poster. And what that would do is it would load that image first while the video is loading, and then we'll play the, the video. So you'll never have a situation where nothing is there while the video is loading. So I'll save and close. And now a second example I wanna show you is using VidsFlow. So I'll go back into my code and I'll just delete the Dropbox URLs. And now we're back to our gray screen. So I'm gonna to go to 
my workspace in VidsFlow, and I've already gone ahead and uploaded the same video into VidsFlow. And for VidsFlow, all you need to do is go directly to this purple share embed button and grab the raw video link. So I can copy this. I'll go back to my Wiflow project and I'll paste that URL in the same place as we did before. So data-video-urls inside the quotations. But there are no modifications I have to make for the VidsFlow URL. So I can just paste these directly. I'll save and close. And I have my working background video. So there you go. Two options you have for hosting your videos for a background video. Hope this helps in your projects. Thank you for watching. Talk to you next time. The links for the CodePen project for the HTML code, as well as a link to VidsFlow will be in the description.